Welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about signals and trap. This is going to be a quick one. So signals are basically messages which you send to a process, right? Even when you do a control C to terminate some process, right? So what you exactly doing is actually sending a signal, right? And how do you send signal in Linux is using kill command. So this is a very misconception, misconception people have. What am I saying? Misconception people have. Uh, when they work with kill command is that kill command is only used to kill a process, right? No, it's not. It's actually used to send signal to a process. And if you do kill hyphen L, you can actually get the list of all the signals which are available to you on a particular distro, right? So on my distro, I have 64 signals. Uh, default signal is sick term. So if I do kill a process ID, sick term is issued. So sick term basically does a graceful kill of a process, right? But you must have seen people doing say uh, kill hyphen nine and then the process ID, right? And if you see nine, which is this sick kill. So sick kill basically is a signal which completely wipes out the entry of that particular process from the process table in the kernel, right? So that's why it, 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 is, it kills that uh, process instantaneously or force, forcefully. All right, so that's uh, what signals are, right? You can do a deep learning on signals if you want to, but you will not see a lot of uh, signal usage in shell scripting. I just wanted to cover this topic so that you actually have an idea. Uh, trap is another thing uh, in Linux which is available to you, which actually helps you trap a particular signal in a script, right? And then you can perform actions based on what you want to do, right? So I'll show you an example. Probably that will make more sense. So we'll just write a script trap dot sh not sj sh and my terminal is again extremely slow i've tried it on different uh, terminals for uh, software but it is i am not sure why is it so slow come on see it's, it's just taking too much of time and i think that's what's going to make this video longer i'm it's not it's not me I've actually tried it on the AWS provided console as well. It's slow over there as well. And this is, I've increased the size of the instances. It's a large instance, but I'm not sure what's causing the slowness. There can be plenty of reasons, but not SSH, not SSH, SH, yeah. So trap command basically, I mean, there is actually a trap command which is available to you. Uh, I've hit the insert mode, yeah. Bash. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trap the control C signal, right? Which is sig int. Uh, if, if I show, if you see, the, if you see the list, there is a sig int also available. So I'm going to trap that signal. So you can trap that signal with name or with the number which is assigned to it. So trap <coughs> and I'm going to echo out I can not be killed with TTRL plus C, right? And the signal, so int, int is the signal basically interrupt, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run a infinite loop and I'll just do a simple echo you try to kill me it's going to say take some time yeah <laughs> right and then I'm going to sleep for say 30 seconds and that would be it save this ch trap.sh let me clear the screen before running it Trap. So you tried to kill me. It's echoing out, right? Now let's hit Control C. I cannot be killed with Control C, right? 
I cannot be killed with control C. I cannot be killed with control C. So now you see that this is an infinite loop which cannot be killed with control C. So in order to kill this, I am going to do control Z, which is a term signal, and control Z should be able to terminate this, right? So again, let me just show you the list of signals which are available and the signal which we trapped. So the signal which we trapped was seg int. You can trap any of these signals in the script. You would probably see this a lot less. I mean, I barely see people write scripts where they are trapping signals. Uh, I also, I mean, avoid writing the scripts where you actually have to do trap and then do some action, right? But anyway, it can be useful. Uh, you never know when it, when it comes handy, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I wanted to cover. It was a short video, right? And we are now at the end of the series. We just want to cover the troubleshooting in Linux shell scripting and then we would be done. So I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.